For today's video, we are going to talk about solving quadratic equations using quadratic formula. In our previous video, we discussed how to derive quadratic formula using the standard form of quadratic equation. I will link to the description box if you want to find out how to derive quadratic formula using the standard form of quadratic equation. So the quadratic formula that is negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. So we are going to use this one to find the values of x in the given equation. So let's start with the first example. On number 1, we have x squared plus 6x plus 8 equals 0. Since the given equation is already written in standard form, we can easily identify the values of a, b, and c. So the value of a, that is 1, b, that is 6, and c, that is and we have the quadratic formula that is negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. So let us substitute the values of a, b, and c. So we have negative and then b that is 6 plus or minus b square. So we are going to have 6 square minus 4 times a that is 1, c that is 8 all over 2 times a, that's 1. So let us have negative 6 plus or minus 6 square, that is 36. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 times 8, that's negative 32. And 2 multiplied by 1, that is 2. So let's have negative 6 plus or minus 36 minus 32, that is 4 all over so let us write here, let us have negative 6, the square root of 4, that is positive and negative 2, all over 2. Since the value of square root of 4 is positive and negative 2, we are going to have two equations. So this will be x equals negative 6 plus 2 all over 2, and the other one will be x equals negative 6 minus 2 all over 2. So let us simplify. Negative 6 plus 2, that's negative 4. Divide by 2, that is negative 2. And negative 6 minus 2 is negative 8. Divide by 2, that is negative 4. So therefore, the values of x are negative 2 and negative 4. On example number 2, we have 2x squared minus x minus 1 equals 0. Since the given equation is already written in standard form, we can easily identify the values of a, b, and c. So the value of a, that is 2, b, that is negative 1, and c is also negative 1. And we have the quadratic formula, that is negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. So let us substitute the values of a, b, and c. So we have negative and b that is negative 1 plus or minus negative 1 square minus 4 times a that is 2 and c that is negative 1 all over 2 times a that is 2. So let us have negative times negative 1 is positive 1 plus or minus negative 1 square that is 1. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8, and negative 8 times negative 1 is positive 8, all over 2 times 2 is 4. And then, let us have 1 plus or minus 1 plus 8, that is 9 over 4. And then, we have 1, the square root of 9 is positive, and negative 3 over 4. Since the value of square root of 9 is positive and negative 3, we are going to have two equations. This will be x equals 1 plus 3 over 4, and the other one is x equals 1 minus 3 over 4. So 1 plus 3, that is 4, over 4, that is 1. And then, we have 1 minus 3 is negative 3, or negative 2, over 4. And negative 2 over 4 can be written as negative 
one half because they are divisible by two. So therefore, the values of x are one and negative one half. On number three, we have three x plus 18 equals x squared. So as you can see, the given equation is not written in standard form. The first thing that we're going to do is to write the given equation into standard form. So let us have x squared. Let us move 3x and 18 on the other side of equation. This will be negative 3x minus 18 equals 0. So therefore, the value of a is 1, b is negative 3, c is negative 18. And we have the quadratic formula that's negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. So let us substitute the values of a, b, and c. So we have negative and then b that is negative 3 plus or minus b square. So we are going to have negative 3 square minus 4 times a that's 1. C is negative 18 all over 2 times 1. So let us have negative times negative 3 is positive 3 plus or minus negative 3 squared is positive 9. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 18 is positive 72 all over 2 times 1 that is 2. So let us have 3 plus or minus 9 plus 72, that is 81, all over 2. And then, we have 3, the square root of 81, that is positive and negative 9 over 2. Since the value of square root of 81 is positive and negative 9, we are going to have two equations. So this will be x equals 3 plus 9 over 2. And the other one is x equals 3 minus 9 over 2. So let us have 3 plus 9, that is 12, over 2, that is 6. And then we have 3 minus 9, that is negative 6, over 2, that is negative 3. So therefore, the values of x are 6 and negative on our last example, we have 6x squared equals negative x plus 1. As you can see, the given equation is not written in standard form. So the first thing that we're going to do before we identify the values of a, b, and c is to write this equation into standard form. In order for us to do that, let us move negative x and positive 1 on the other side of equation. So this will be 6x squared plus x minus 1 equals 0. So let us identify the value of a, that is 6, b, that is 1, and c is negative 1. So this will be the standard form, that's negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. So let us substitute the value of a, b, and c. We have negative and b that is 1. So this will be positive and negative square root of 1 square minus 4 times a that is 6 and c that is negative 1 all over 2 times 6. So let us have negative times positive 1 is negative 1 plus or minus 1 square that is 1. Negative 4 times 6 is negative 24. Negative 24 times negative 1 is positive 24. All over 2 times 6, that is 12. So let us have negative 1 plus or minus 1 plus 24, that is 25. All over 12. And then, let us write negative 1. And the square root of 25, that is positive and negative 5 all over 12. Since the value of square root of 25 is positive and negative 5, we are going to have two equations. This will be negative 1 plus 5 over 12. And the other one is x 
equals negative 1 minus 5 over 12. Negative 1 plus 5, that is 4 over 12. And 4 over 12 can be written as 1 third because they are divisible by 4. And the other one is negative 1 minus 5 is negative 6 over 12 can be written as negative 1 half because the greatest common factor that is 6. So therefore, the values of x are 1 third and negative 1 half. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.